How should I start this? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, JJ for Filmora, and welcome to the first episode of You Ask, We Answer, a brand new series that we've created to answer all the questions that you have in the comment section of our videos. Do you have a technical question about Filmora? Or maybe you want to learn about a specific camera trick? Or you want to know what my favorite food is? Or what Matt's shoe size is? We'll answer all those questions if you guys leave them in the comment section below. So to kick off our first episode, let's answer a question from... Oi? <laughs> Oi? Oi Cannon, who asks, I cannot download the latest version. I downloaded the official link, but still 7.8.9 version. Now I know some of you might be asking the same question. I updated, I clicked the link, and it's still 7.8.9. Why is that? Well, this is probably because you're using a 32-bit computer. All updates 8.0 and above require 64-bit. So if you are using a 32-bit and you update to the latest version, it'll only stay at 7.8.9. All right, let's answer our next question. All right, let's do it. So our next question comes from Phil Dumont. Hi, Phil. Shout out to you. Where do we get the letterbox frame to add as a pip for the cinematic effect? Great question. So if you don't already know, a letterbox is a frame at the top of your videos and at the bottom to give you a really cool cinematic look. So it kind of looks like you're watching a movie. So you want to know how you can get that effect. Hmm. Let's ask our camera guy, Kevin, video guy, Kevin, all the way over there to see if it can be done. Hey, Kevin. All right, we're going to do this quick and easy tutorial on adding a letterbox in Filmora so that you can get that cinematic effect. Okay, with your footage already added to the timeline, just click the text and credit library and just pick any title text you want. It's okay, whatever it is. And make sure the text track matches the length of the video. Okay, so once you've done that, go to the advanced text editor, which you can find just right here, and then click advanced. So you don't really need this text, so just delete everything and now we have to add the black bar. So just go to the advanced text editor and this is where you can add text, images, and even shapes like squares and rectangles. So just click the rectangle and extend it so it covers the top half. You may notice that when you extend it, the edges begin to soften and round off. So to just sharpen them, you click this tiny yellow box and just drag it until it's sharp. On the side panel, there are options to change the color. So you can just change it to black and you just want to remove the border so it's just complete black. Now do the exact same thing on the bottom half and then click OK. And you're basically, yeah, done. Cinematic. Woohoo! Back to JJ. Wow, that was super easy. Are you guys going to give it a try? Let us know if you do and see how it changes your videos. So what questions do you want us to answer in our next episode? Leave us a comment in the section below and it might be featured in our next episode. So until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys 